three words that a narcissist will never say. By the end of the video, you are going to know exactly what you were dealing with. You're going to know that it wasn't you. You're going to forget about all of the lies, manipulation and gaslighting. Because you're going to understand something that makes perfect sense. Something that will confirm to you that you were dealing with a narcissist. Or someone with a personality disorder or some form of mental illness. Because up until this point you may have been wondering if it was them or if it was you. And that's not to say that anyone is perfect. Of course there is always room for improvement. But when you are dealing with a narcissist, they want to project everything onto you. They want to hold you to blame for everything that went wrong. When you had no connection to anything they went through in their lives. And yet they want to relieve themselves of their problems and worries by passing it on to you because they don't have a conscience. They lack an inner feeling or voice which would otherwise act as a guide to the wrongness of their behaviour. They feel no urge to do right because they're of a lower consciousness. They're asleep, they're like zombies, they're not fully awake. But they do understand the difference between right and wrong. It's just that they see themselves as the exception. Because they believe that they have an excuse. They believe there's a reason why it shouldn't be applied to them. They have a strong sense of entitlement. They believe that they should be able to do whatever they want and have whatever they want. Because in their minds they're superior. They're special and unique. As though life has been so unfair to them so now the world owes them. When they've never actually done anything to earn the privileges or special treatment that they think they deserve. They've never helped anyone in their entire lives. They're just users. They're takers. But they always have this idea in their minds that they are entitled to everything. Because they think they're powerful, intelligent, attractive or wealthy. Or because they have the right connections. When they've never actually done anything that would warrant the type of a treatment that they're expecting. It's just all in their heads. They're completely delusional. Because it has no basis in reality. It doesn't make any logical sense. It's just something that they've created in their minds. And that is why there are three words that a narcissist will never say. No matter their age or gender or what part of the world they're from. Most narcissists will never say these three words. They will never say I was wrong. And they will never take the steps to correct their faults and mistakes. Because if they were to do that, they would be reintegrating themselves back into reality. Instead of constantly trying to pull other people into their world of make-believe. Which is something that most narcissists are never going to do. There is a very small percentage of narcissists who will admit that they were wrong. And who will take the necessary steps to correct it. But it's very unlikely that anyone here will even know a narcissist who has managed to accomplish this. Because it is very rare. It requires a huge amount of dedication and strength. It may even require a belief in God or a higher power. And they will also have to endure a lifetime of therapy. Because there is no cure for this disorder. It requires ongoing professional support. So the odds of that the narcissist in your life is never going to tell you that they were wrong. And they are never going to take the steps to correct it. 
They're just going to further lie to you and manipulate you. They cannot reintegrate themselves into reality. You have to enter their world. It's the only way to reach them. You have to understand all of these alternate meanings and interpretations just to have a conversation with them. But even then they're not going to understand you. Because they have excuses and justifications for everything they do and everything that goes wrong. So that it's never something that they have to deal with because in their minds they're always the victim. They're always the one who is suffering or being affected by something. So while they may understand that stealing is wrong, in their minds it's okay for them to steal because something happened to them. They're allowed to cheat because they're not happy. It always comes back to their childhood traumas or something that was done to them in their past. So now they believe that they can do whatever they want and they expect you to go along with it. If you don't then you're wrong and then they have to punish you. They will blame you for everything that goes wrong. It will always be your fault and they will play the victim. Because they're fantasists. They're living in an alternate reality. Where someone acted unjustly or dishonestly to them. Rather than them being the ones who are doing that. They make it seem right in their minds so that it fits into their fantasy world. They may have been abusing you for years. They may have cheated on you, lied to you and stole from you. Until finally you got fed up of it and decided to walk away. And they may have felt rejected or abandoned by you. But they have to twist it in their mind so that it doesn't seem so bad. Because they can't deal with their narcissistic injury. It's too painful for them to deal with. They don't want to believe that you got fed up of them. And then you decided to leave them alone. So they will filter it out. They decide that something was wrong with you. You were no good for them. And they were just in the process of getting rid of you. Which is why they then go straight to the smear campaign. And they start talking about you behind your back. They lie about it. Because they just can't deal with the fact that you didn't want them. They make up all of these stories about you. So that other people believe them and support their false reality. And then it feels more true to the narcissist. Because everyone is validating their side of the story. Even though it's all nonsensical. It makes no sense. But it makes sense to them because they filter everything out. They have all of these justifications and excuses for what they did wrong. So in their minds they had to do what they did. And they always have these long explanations that are pointless and deliberately evasive. This fuss and commotion. These theatrical performances. These long and complicated stories where they're making an unnecessary fuss about it. Instead of just getting to the matter at hand. Because they're trying to mislead you so that they can escape or avoid it. And you may think that they're just doing this for you. But they're actually just doing it for themselves. It's so that they can keep themselves imprisoned in this world of their own making. Because they need to think that they're a good person. They have to make it all right in their mind. So they can't be dealing with reality. They can't even entertain it. They have to deny reality so that they can feel more comfortable. Because there are certain things that no one wants to feel or deal with. Whether they're a narcissist or a psychopath or whoever they may be. No one wants to feel shame, humiliation or rejection. Especially those who have a cluster B disorder. They will do everything in their power to run away from it or deny it. Because they can't deal with the fact that you didn't want them and that they were no good for you. 
which is why when you confront them or if you threaten to expose them, it causes a narcissistic injury. And in that moment, it brings them back to reality and they see who they really are. And you may think that you're not too fond of them. But trust and believe that if you lock them away in a room for a week to think about their actions, they would probably end up taking themselves out or going insane because they don't even like themselves. That's why they entertain this alternate reality. It's so that they can feel comfortable when they're around you. Because otherwise, every time they see you, they would experience so much shame. It would tear them apart. And it's why they start smear campaigns. It's all just to support this false reality. So that it makes it more believable for them. And then they don't have to feel so bad. They're just constantly running from themselves their entire lives. They're constantly in denial. They're not even living. And that is why they're always so miserable. Because they deliberately refuse to accept the truth or to think about unpleasant facts. And instead they choose to live in this fake world because they don't want anything to do with who they actually are. Just seeing a reflection of themselves or having to acknowledge that they have destroyed people's lives would probably drive them insane. Because despite how crazy they may be, even they don't want to see that. Even they don't want to have to look at themselves and the things that they've done to people. They will do anything to get away from having to acknowledge these facts. Because deep down they already know that they are the lowest of the low. And that is why they're so controlling, because they're very insecure. Which is why they have this fantasy world that is full of justifications and excuses, where they gaslight you, and they shift the blame onto you, because they know exactly who they are and they know what they do. It's all just a distraction from who they actually are. Because they already know you don't want to see that. They know no one in the right minds wants to be around someone who destroys people's lives. Someone who feels no remorse. And has no intention of making amends. Even they don't want to be around themselves. Which is why they can never be alone. They're always surrounded by their enablers and flying monkeys who blindly support their false narrative. Because the last thing they want is to be left alone to their own devices, where they have to look at themselves and think about what they've done. You may have experienced a lot of anxiety and stress when you were around them. You may have developed all sorts of health problems, and you may have even felt like you were going insane. But for them to be left alone in the company of themselves, and with the awareness of the mess that they have created. There's just no telling what they might do to themselves. It's likely that they would lose their minds. And that they may even take their own lives. Because beneath the surface of their false reality and their flying monkeys. Is a very weak fragile person. Who is fully aware that they are a disservice to mankind. And that is why they lie. It's why they manipulate and gaslight. It's why they use every trick in the book to prevent people from realizing this truth. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.